What's up, guys? Today, I just want to talk briefly on getting uh, your FTP client set up to work directly with your text editor um, in order to work with managed WordPress projects within GoDaddy's platform. So, um, first of all, we're, we'll be using CyberDuck, which is available for Mac or for Windows. Um, so, download whichever version you need for your particular uh, machine. Um, and then we'll briefly talk why this would be important. Um, most people can get away with, uh, you know, from your WordPress backend, which I'm in here. Uh, here's my GoDaddy, GoDaddy Managed WordPress. If I go to Appearance and Editor, I can see on the right side here all of the theme files for the particular theme that I'm working in. Um, I can edit, you know, my style sheet, which I've got opened up here. I can change colors, change styles, change position, um, and save everything, and it works just fine. The problem comes in when I need to actually undo something, which I can't do from this uh, particular area. So that is why you would want to set up um, the type of workflow that we're going to be talking about today. So um, first of all, things that you'll need are uh, CyberDuck, which again, you can download. Uh, the link is cyberduck.io. Um, grab it for Windows or for Mac. Um, and then there's a couple of settings we want to touch on in CyberDuck. So I've opened those up here. Um, there's two things you want to check. First of all is editor. Um, I've gone in here and I've set a default text editor that will open files uh, from uh, CyberDuck. So I use Atom, but you can use Sublime Text, Dreamweaver, whatever you're comfortable with. Um, the next setting is uh, after you've got your editor set up, go to browser. And this is the other setting. Double click opens a file in an external editor. And that's going to make sure that when I'm inside of CyberDuck, if I double click on one of these files, it's going to open up in Atom or in my text editor of choice. So um, next thing we need is our SFTP credentials, which we can get from Manage WordPress. If we go to GoDaddy and account settings, it's going to open up this window here, which is our gateway. Um, and from the gateway, you'll scroll down to your installation. Mine happens to be right here. Go to settings, SSH, and SFTP. And here's everything I need to connect to my server. I've got my host name, username, password, and port number. So let me open up CyberDuck again. Um, there's my password, username, and my host name. It comes into the server field here, so I'm gonna click connect. It's gonna open up my server. Um, in order to get to the same place I'd be on from my WordPress backend here under Appearance and Editor um, within CyberDuck, I want to go to WP Content, and then I want to go to Themes, and then I want to select whatever theme I happen to be working on. For this one, it's called Arcade Basic, and that's going to take me into the same theme files that we can see from this uh, WordPress dashboard here. Um, Arcade Basic is what, what's being used on this site here, this Cheesy Pete site. So I want to open up my style sheet and just for example's sake, I want to make a change uh, on the server so that you can see it take effect on the live site here. So for example, we'll go to our navigation background here and we're going to change that from the red that it is now to black. So just to make sure I'm working on the right um, element, I've gone into my Chrome Inspector or Chrome Developer Tools and changed the background to black, which you can see reflected here. So um, I want to go to line 3128, which I can see right here in my inspector. I want to go there on my style sheet and I can do a control G and jump down to line 3128. And here's that same area in my style sheet. And we're going to change that to black, so triple zero. I'm going to do Command S on Mac to save. Uh, for PC, it would be Control S, and that's going to upload that file back to the server. So um, I'm going to come back and refresh here on the live site. And if it's still red, that's OK. A lot of times what happens with GoDaddy's managed WordPress environment is you have to go back here to GoDaddy and flush cache. A lot of times those changes that you make on the server whether it's from the back end or from uh, an FTP editor, will get cached. So you go to GoDaddy, flush cache, and now if I refresh, I should have my black navigation bar. 
which now we can see. It takes a moment there, but now you can see we've got a black navigation bar. So um, really, again, to touch on why this is so important, if I wanted to change that back to red, um, if I was within my, my WordPress dashboard here, I can't do a, a control Z or command Z and, and go back. So I can actually do that from within my text editor here. So here's where we were, um, line 3128. If I do a command Z, switch that back to red, and then I save that again. I can go back to the live site, do a refresh, and we're still black, but we're still, again, just probably caching. So uh, I'm gonna go to GoDaddy and flush cache. Let that do its thing. You'll see the success message come up here. And then I'll do a hard refresh. And there is my red navigation bar. So. Um, again, obviously a much safer, much smarter workflow for when you're working with GoDaddy's managed WordPress projects um, to open it up within your text editor of choice and upload those changes directly to the server. So uh, thanks for watching. Take care.